In this video, I will show how to set up the new chin rest. And uh, there's five components. There's the base, the chin rest itself, and then the three positioners, height adjuster, lateral slider, <coughs> and the focus track. These are the three XYZ positioning components, and they will go here. But usually the first step is to grab the uh, chin rest itself. Now this one is a new design which includes ch a pair of magic arms otherwise it's the same. There's also a couple of spare mounting holes if you want further magic arm attachments but these are each fitted with a magnet that will receive a light guide. And the way this goes on is you have the chin cup facing the client so that goes in like this and after you slide it in, you put your thumb and finger there, chuck it, 120 millimeter Arca Swiss clamp. Then you torque that up so it's just snug there, and then that component is ready to go. And uh, these arms are in the storage position, and this is the arms ready position, ready for use, and this is where the light guide can go right there. And so I'll move these into their standard um, ready position here. <clears throat> and so they allow you to change the angle of lighting because the lighting can be mounted on the chin rest basis and that allows you to get more extreme angles of lighting. The second part is the camera positioner and the first step is to use this uh, height adjuster to slide it in so the knob faces the operator. Get that flush on both sides and then tighten this knob here. The middle level is the lateral slider and there's a little tension adjuster here a uh, small white knob there and um, that allows you to control how easily it slides and it faces the camera operator as well and it also fits in to the dovetail track and is tightened up like that that's the lateral slider so the last part, part number five is the uh, focus track here and this is also a new design and it has a very smooth uh, precision mechanism with a knob on each side. And, and it can go on either way. Um, I usually put it opposite of this knob. And that also you slide in to its flush and then tighten that. And that is <coughs> the newest chin rest. I, I call it the Miles eye camera support. It, it supports the camera, the eye camera, and it also holds the person's head stabilized to get good pictures. And normally this will be uh, offered along with an illuminator, which is, this is the newest style of illuminator. Now this happens to be a four channel. There's a um, uh, mostly two-channel illuminators, but there's a, a four-channel which allows you to choose between uh, any uh, two adjacent pairs of light guides. And w within each pair you can choose both or one or the other. And But the newest feature here is that the uh, light guides are mounted on a magnet here, which can be uh, easily removed and repositioned and it has these two arms here, two magic arms. Right now they are in the storage position for storage and transport out of the way and this is how it comes when you first get it and then you just slide this on to the top like that. Again get it flush, tighten this up and that is the, the complete illuminator with chin rest. And uh, as I say, the newest uh, design is to allow you to move the light guide 
to here, and this is how the uh, magic arm is adjusted. You can choose other angles. It takes a little bit of time to learn how to work with these uh, magic arms, but once you do, you can put the arm at whatever position you want on both sides. And uh, <coughs> after you uh, have gotten those ready, before or after, would be to uh, add in the camera. And this here is a camera that is a D800 <coughs> with a 105 lens and with a full frame uh, uh, F mount I use a 56 millimeters of extension tube so there's a 20 and a 36 there and that gives a, about 1.9x magnification so that the iris will fill the frame and this slides on like so with the dovetail and then you lift it and you rest it on these two little bumpers here and uh, torque that up. And now this is ready to go. It's all ready to go and uh, the operation of the camera will be shown in a different video but this is how you set it up. Um, this is the focusing light uh, brightness control here. That's a modular focusing light. Um, you can take it off to change the battery although it doesn't often need changing but this is the focusing light control box and uh, the LED plugs in to the small socket. And you can also f supply it with a USB um, 5 volt uh, through this socket which is a 5.5 um, by 2.5 millimeter barrel connector and um, there's two magnets that hold this in place right here. And when that's in place, then this is the LED light that has a wire to come plug in like that. Now, um, every once in a while, maybe a couple of times a year, you may want to change the batteries, especially if you leave it on overnight, and that has been known to happen. But if you do change the batteries, you just take this little screw out and slide it and change the three AAAs in there. Um, if that happens a lot, you can just use this 5 volt <clears throat> with the USB cord. All right, so that's how that works. And while I'm on this uh, subject here, I can show more about how the illuminator works with the built-in flash. So you would turn on the camera and uh, press and hold this button here to bring up the flash. It should be in manual mode. One slash one is full power in the horizontal position. And uh, there's, oh yeah, there's also a target here. <clears throat> there's an alignment target for the camera and also a target for the chin rest here. And so the uh, target for the camera mount right there. And it's got a protractor. <clears throat> and uh, when this is attached with magnets to the illuminator, then it makes it easy to aim the light at where the iris will be when it's in focus. So that's quite useful for this type of thing because you will be wanting to explore different angles and with this chin rest you can do that. But you do have to learn how these uh, arms work. It takes a little bit of getting used to it to get reach all the angles possible. But it, and then when you when you leave it when you set it you want it to be right at uh, this height. And uh, that is how this works here. And um, this is the other alignment target, which fits into the chin rest in place of the chin cup. And it puts two iris images right where they would normally appear with a person about 65 millimeters apart, centered on the chin rest. That's right where they would appear. 
and that's useful if you want to uh, check your camera. Oh, let's see if this is on. Yeah, you could uh, see how that. I don't think it's going to show up, but I see the picture here. And you can get it sharp and focus, and that's how it works. And then you take the picture, and of course that you can see a little bit of that picture, and that's how that works. Hey, in this video, I will dismantle the chin rest with the four channel any angle lighting illuminator that also has a D800 with a Nikon 105 VR lens. So, first step, loosen that, sign it out. Now, that, that's a few pounds right there. Next step, loosen this. Slide it off. Notice the arms have been put in their storage position. The next step is to loosen the focus drag, that's the upper component, and that is separated. The middle component is the lateral slider, and the bottom component of the camera position is the height adjuster, that's the heavy one. And uh, this has a mark where the standard uh, reference height would be, allowing the camera to have its lens axis right at the eye line. Now you can go up and down and it, trim it, the adjustment there, and also with the chin rest here. That's removing the camera positioner. The second portion here, with, with the new design here, what we're going to do is make these into their storage and transport position first. So they go straight up. And the uh, knob is tightened up here uh, <coughs> at, a, at a 45 angle here. And the same over here. And uh, they can also go this way too. 45 angle is what I usually do. Okay, uh, those are uh, now in the storage position. <clears throat> For storage and transport, and then uh, the chin rest is removed by first loosening the clamp, sliding it out. And that is the chin rest. These are the five components rest the X Y and Z positioner components are here and uh, the base and the chin rest 